Uh, you just sold a dura code, correct? Yes, sir. Two of them. Served two of them. <laughs> um, and so, tell me the customer you sold it to. You don't have to. We don't have to talk about the customer's name because we don't have their permission. But tell me um, uh, what they do and what they're going to use them for. So they uh, make electronic uh, electrical cables with connectors on either end and they code on the connectors on the end of the cables. Okay. And they cook them so that it... They cook them? Yeah, they cook the connector. Okay. Right, to make sure that the ink adheres permanently. Okay. Right, so we use a retort ink. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? That it, it can have, withstand with, high, high temperatures. Okay, so the right. cooking is it hot, help, obviously. Yeah, and help cure it. Okay, okay. Um, so it actually becomes part of the substrate. Is it, is it just black? Yes. Okay. They do use a white as well, but okay. we don't offer that right now in the okay. Durco code because okay. it'd be a pigmented ink. Yeah. But that will be coming in the future. Sweet. Um, they currently use uh, two older style video jet XLs on traversing systems. They have a linear and a circular traversing system. And so the trick with our application was getting it to work with their current systems. Yep. So we had to mess with the wires and get it to, to work. And Dave Love was awesome in doing that. Yeah. So, and we, a trial. And they did a trial. Yeah. Yeah. For a month. And was did they just run one machine in the trial? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they're but they're buying two because of how many lines they have, or is it? Because they have again they have the they have a linear and a circular. I got you. Traverse, That's what you're saying. And just in case one of them went down, because yep. they're used to it going down because of the older technology, the video jack cells aren't uh, yeah. as reliable. So that's why we're doing that. Nice. So, well, congratulations. Thanks, sir.